What's going on guys? It is Exile Rez coming at you with a little bit of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta gameplay. Um, right now I'm using the Man of War. Uh, this is just kind of like a team death match. I was just playing with a buddy of mine. You can see him actually right there in front of me. Shout out to Matt Watson. What's up buddy? Um, me and him were just playing beta. I'd been playing probably since for probably the last 12 hours. So I was pretty gassed. I just wanted to play some team death match with him. He's not too competitive when we play so I mean it's just basically we're just having some fun and uh, I want to point off right off the bat here the man of war is a great gun to start off with like I mean if you I mean the beta just came out now for everyone so I mean if you're just starting and you're watching this video I would definitely recommend starting off if you if you like playing with an AR to definitely use the man of war um, it's got a lot of stopping power. It doesn't have the quickest fire rate, but I mean, it just drops kids. Like it, it bodies kids so quickly. And I mean, you can see right now, like I'm just, I'm wrecking kids with this gun. It's, it's really good. I really like it. I mean, you kind of have to have a, a decent, a decent shot. Um, it's got sometimes a weird little kick pattern. And right here, I don't know what happens there, but you can see right there with this new game, um, it actually takes two hits to melee. And um, I, I heard on Twitter, I think from one of uh, some pro that if you have an smg uh it's actually quicker to melee if you have an smg i don't know if that's confirmed but i'm sure drifter or some other bigger youtuber will eventually figure that stuff out when the game finally comes out but uh yeah so with the man of war i would suggest running you know grip red dot like so i'd, I'd have your optics so your red dot grip quick draw stock and i would go with that as like your kind of attachments and then three perks and then uh, lethal or tactical whichever you prefer concussions in this game are insane so i would start maybe running a concussion and i just got wrecked right there uh lmgs in this game are ridiculously overpowered they are super super strong um i think that might have been the dingo i'm not sure that's one really good one and right here i don't know what i was doing i just completely missed that guy entirely that was awful uh and also another thing, if you're just starting off this game, if you're trying to pick your specialist um, right off the bat, like right out of the gate, I would go with the Tempest because his, or with, I guess with the Prophet, because he has the gun called the Tempest, and it's it's really strong. It um, you know it's a little burst. It's like a, an electrical gun. It kind of reminds me of like the one gun from Zombies. It shoots like a big electrical stream, and then it it kills kind of everyone on contact. And right there, I just got a blind grenade double kill. I don't even know that that's just beyond lucky. And you can see me right here pull out, this is called the Tempest, uh, it's, it's a pretty good gun, it's, it's pretty solid. It's, I thought you had to hold it down to, to shoot, so for the longest time I was kind of being an idiot and holding it down and getting killed a lot, and I was getting pretty mad <laughs> with this gun, but but once I figured out you can just keep shooting it like a, like a single shot gun, and right there I got wrecked. So right there, that's uh, another specialist, that's a Sparrow, he, uh, or the, out, uh, the Outrider Sparrow, it's a bow and it shoots a... Uh, uh, explosive bows and, and that thing is ridiculous because you can just spam bow spam spam the arrow a lot and it just it's just grenades blowing up everywhere it gets pretty hectic and see right there I mean it, it's the Man of War is, is an interesting gun because it's got an on normal kick pattern I don't know I think it's one of those guns where I think like the first couple shots are accurate and then it kind of bounces a little bit like you can see right there and just previously before that if you noticed how I slid and threw a grenade in this game your guy throws grenades like they're 50 pound weights like he must think that they are dumbbells at the gym because your guy just cannot throw grenades to save his life um, so I, I find if you jump or slide and then throw the grenade to wherever you're trying to get it to that kind of works out Bet, like the best because otherwise you're throwing it probably 10 feet and it's not going to kill anyone but uh yeah so i mean just just i mean here in this gameplay it's not a lot it's just team deathmatch uh just running around trying to basically get kills and right here i don't know what that guy was doing and i did something here that i absolutely regret doing i completely pre-fired and pre-aimed that guy i knew he was there though so i mean it's not like i was just walking around a corner randomly and and didn't no, he was there. And right there, if you notice on the mini map, my mini map just lit up there. That's one of the new perks called Sixth Sense, and it allows you to under like it gives you a little insight on your mini map whether or not there's a there's an enemy around you. It's kind of like a little close proximity UAV. But I mean, it's not 
it, I, I, I took it off after a little while because I found that I was getting more confused and I was chasing kills because I would see that little ping go off on my minimap and be like, oh, there's a guy near me, so I'd start freaking out and then I'd try and chase the kill and then it would put me into a crappy position and then I'd get killed. And see right there, <laughs> what you just saw, I think I, I actually just was disappointed in myself that I don't know what I was doing because I just threw that grenade about six feet into the wrong direction and it hit the wall and almost killed me. So I got my Tempest again, and I got one kill, and I get shot in the back. I think I was 24 and 9 at this point. I was doing okay. It's, I mean, it's just a team deathmatch, so I mean, it's not anything good. But right there, that's a perfect example of a man of war. Right there, in that situation right there, you're going to win those 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 gunfights when there's two guys, you know, kind of in, in that distance, like in the longer range, mid to long range distances there. And right here, I actually get the last two kills while wall riding the new gameplay mechanic. And I close out the game. So, pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, you can see it again right here. Look at that. Kill the first guy. Uh, the second guy comes up. He has no chance. He's got a sniper rifle. It's a good thing the game ended because I was about to fall to my death. Pretty sweet way to end it. Didn't have to force myself to get a, get a death. Go 20 and 10. Not bad. Not great for a team death match, but I was, it was pretty early in the morning. I was pretty tired, no sleep, just wanted to mess around. But anyways, thanks guys for watching. Please leave a like and a sub.